Greetings people, I'm Sungai sitting here and today I show you a project that is about to moon because recently they raised 10 million dollars in funding and capital and all of that so I thought it would be a good time to introduce this project to you guys. Now usually I look at NFT projects, I look at play to earn games and they're super easy to understand. This one is a little different. This one is more focused on the technical aspect of things that comes to Web3 and crypto and all of that. So I will give my best on making this one clear for you guys to understand what this one is all about. In short, this one is something like a cloud computing service, but it is focused on Web3 as well as DeFi. So it's not the normal cloud computing that you've heard of because they are focused on the future, on blockchain technology and all of that stuff. They themselves say, allow your blockchain enabled app to securely access trusted off-chain data or computation within a couple lines of code. So if you, for example, are developer and you get your own blockchain enabled app, whether it's on Solana or it's on Polygon, could be an Avalanche or Cosmos, and this might be a solution that you could use for your project and to make advances and all of that. I would just say, as always, because I guess you can buy their service in here, that this is not financial advice. This is just me presenting the project and what it is about. Links to everything in here though, in the description down below. Make sure to check them out because just recently, they raised $10 million and they're about to moon, as I mentioned in the intro. They were also selected for Ubisoft's sixth season Entrepreneur's Lab. They were seen on different media outlets Outlets, and you can also just try their DApps over here by backing up your NFT staking and by also keeping your data safe. What they're working on at the moment are both virtual machines as well as resource nodes, for which sharding came in quarter four last year. And in a short and concise manner, why would you even use Aleph? It's complicated, yet simple. Everything in here is decentralized instead of centralized like it is in Google, for example, as this one is the first generation of fully decentralized apps. So at start, they also got the DRD framework, the SDK, the other abbreviations that I don't know of. Most importantly, for everybody who is at my stage, at my level right now, this one sentence, users always own and fully control the data, and that's what it's all about in the end. And also all the technical stuff. But for me personally, this one is the most important one. They're partnered with some serious companies in the world. For example, I used Serum before in stuff that had to do with Solana. I also bought some Phantasma, not financial advice, but Phantasma is kind of cool. I also bought Orion, I think it's called Orion Protocol. And in other words, I actually know roughly half of their partners in here and have either bought their token and or used the service at some point before. So it's cool to see that they also show up in here. Besides that, this is not like a normal NFT project where the entire team is hidden behind profile pictures. Those are actual human beings working on this every single day seven to be exact. They are linked with their Twitter and their LinkedIn. Even the five advisors they have are linked over here, just so you know that they mean business. As mentioned in the intro though, they recently raised $10 million in a funding round by all those companies mentioned over here. And right now is the important month, because in January, it marks the beginning of the rollout of their first computing resource nodes. And then eventually, it's going to carry the bulk of the decentralized network's processing power, because it is their ultimate mission to provide fully decentralized computing power. That is going to enable Web3 builders, the apps and protocols to fully decentralize up until the last piece of their development stack, which if you ever use crypto, it's just a great thing overall. In the last year, they have been used in some Solana applications, for example, like Serum, Radium, and Saber, and also others. Then when it comes to Ubisoft, they're going to provide a decentralized storage system for their dynamic NFTs on Ubisoft Quartz. And they say, up until mid-2022, that all core channel nodes are going to function as network controllers and all processing and storage nodes should be fully online. So the next six months, are full of work and things they're gonna get done. They were also featured in a paragraph over here on Cointelegraph, where it's all about that they're developing a censorship-resistant data storage. This would be kind of weird if you make a tweet, for example, and then it's like, mm, actually, let's take that down, which I think happened to a couple people so far. That's the annoying thing when it comes to censorship and centralization. So if everything is decentralized and your data is censorship-resistant, then your whole freedom of speech is going to be supported. But back to the notes. As of right now, they got 70 core notes, and if you have one of those nodes, if you run them, you're going to get rewarded with the native token, the Aleph token, and they're going to expand the minimum wage payment capabilities to 150 node operators. With their 70 or 71 active core channel nodes, which all happened in a year, they also got 62 million tokens totally staked since then. They also got the overview for the staking on their page over here. But we also see at the top that 76 nodes are in total, 71 are active, and the unnamed node, for example, over here still needs 367,000 until this bar is fully green. If you also want to stake, you first of all, gotta connect your wallet up there, which means you gotta sign in with MetaMask, and then you can also participate in those nodes. But in order to actually register to get into those, you got this staking guide over here, where we learn that you need at least 10,000 of the Aleph token, and then just connect and stake. As of right now, a single token is 65 cents with 121 million market cap. Keep in mind, today's a pretty bad day for crypto, unless you're holding stable coins, then it's an awesome day apparently. But back to Aleph. If you want to set up your own node, you need at least 200,000 Aleph tokens to register, and you can only register one per account or wallet. And here, first of 
of all, you connect your wallet as well. Besides MetaMask, they also got Wallet Connect, Portis, as well as the Mio Wallet. You will then have an option to create a note over there. Then you will just sign, and that's pretty much it. So basically, if you get 200,000 of the token, you click the blue buttons multiple times, and then you get the note. I like that it's really that simple, because you can't go wrong there. Then for the rest of this year, because it started three weeks ago, and we got 49 entire weeks left, there is quite a lot they're working on. There's some encryption, there's the aggregator indexer. But if you understand those words over here, they get an entire 20 page white paper full of information of beautiful pictures on how one thing connects to another. So I would just say if anybody in this audience likes to stake in notes, likes to own a note or has their own blockchain project that needs cloud computing and offline storage, then this might potentially be something for you. It's weird because I only ever talk about funny internet pictures called NFTs and play to earn games where you click like a button three times and then you get some some money. So this is a little bit more advanced. And I would say I will leave the links to everything important in the description down below. I hope this video made any sense at all. My key takeaways are that I probably need to study this subject in order to understand it. Have a good rest of your day and take care.